Hey everyone, we're going to take a look at creating a Node.js web application that makes use of Couchbase Server as the database of choice. Uh, before we go too far, I'm going to make a few assumptions here. The first of which is you must already have Node.js installed and configured in order for this uh, tutorial to be successful. You also need Couchbase Server installed uh, as well. Uh, if you need help installing Couchbase Server, you can view uh, one of the tutorials that I'm going to list in the description of this video. Uh, the final requirement here is that you have curl or something similar installed. We're going to be using curl in my situation uh, to test the API that we're going to build. Uh, if you're on Windows or if you're on a different operating system that may not already have it installed, uh, you will need to install something or similar. With that said, let's go ahead and create a new project on our desktop. We're going to say uh, make directory if you're on Linux or Mac, and we're going to say project. Then we're going to navigate into that project directory, and we're going to create a new Node.js project. So we can say npm init hyphen y, and that will create a basic package.json file at the root of our project. With our package.json file created, now we can uh, download all of the dependencies for our Node.js project. So we can say npm install Express, because we're going to be using Express Framework. Couchbase, because we're going to be using the Couchbase SDK. And Body Parser. This is so that way we can make post requests against our API. And we're going to save these. So we're going to do hyphen hyphen save. All right, so it went ahead and downloaded all the dependencies. So it would have added them to a node modules directory inside of our project next to package.json. Um, with that said, let's go ahead and create a new file which will be kind of the logic to our basic node.js application so we're going to say uh, touch and let's call it app.js or you can just go in and create the the file however you wish touch will just create it for us on mac and linux now let's go ahead and find that uh, file i'm going to open it up in my favorite text editor here or whatever i have installed on my machine uh, which in this case is going to be gedit and we're going to add some code here uh, so the first of which is we need to include the dependencies that we downloaded. So we need to say var express equals require express. The next dependency that we want to add is we want to add the Couchbase uh, SDK. So we can say var Couchbase equals require Couchbase. And then finally, we have our third dependency here, which is our body par parser. So we're going to say var body parser equals require body hyphen parser. And we can go ahead and save that. With the dependencies included in our project, uh, now we can start configuring them and configuring uh, the connection to Couchbase server. So on a new line, let's go ahead and first configure our connection to Couchbase server. So we can say var cluster equals new Couchbase dot cluster. And we're going to define uh, the node. In this case, I have Couchbase server installed locally in my Ubuntu machine. Uh, so it's going to be on localhost. So I'll say Couchbase colon slash slash localhost. And that will establish the connection to uh, my locally running Couchbase instance. Now what I want to do is I want to open a particular bucket uh, on this cluster. So I'm going to say var bucket equals cluster dot open bucket. And in this case, the particular bucket that I want to open is going to be called default. Because when you set up a Couchbase cluster, you're always going to have some, some kind of default bucket. In this case, it's called default for me. With our connection to Couchbase established, now what we want to do is we want to initialize Express Framework because Express Framework is going to make it easy for us to use Node.js and Couchbase. So we're going to say var app equals express, uh, and that's it. So that will now what we can do is we can use app uh, throughout our project. With Express Framework, uh, the next thing that we want to do is we want to configure um, the body parser so that way we can accept post requests that may contain JSON data or URL encoded data. So we can say app.use body parser.json. 
And we're also going to say app.use body parser dot URL encoded. And then we're going to say extended true. So we're going to allow JSON and URL encoded data. With our bootstrapping information out of the way, now we can worry about configuring the routes to our application. So these are going to be endpoints uh, that some kind of client or browser or curl can access to create or read data. So the first one is going to be an endpoint for getting particular data. So we're going to say app.get. The endpoint is going to be person. And it's going to accept a optional parameter here. It's going to be an ID. And then we're going to have a callback. And we're going to pass it in a request and a result. All right, now we can add some logic here. So as far as logic goes, we're going to say bucket, because that's what we defined our open bucket as. We're going to say get, because we're going to get a particular document ID or a particular document based on that ID. We're going to, we're going to pass it in the parameter. So we're going to say request.params.id, because that's what we have um, passed in. And then upon success or error, we have a, a callback here. It's going to be error or result. I do have one too many parentheses here, so I'm going to remove one. And now we can worry about what happens uh, if there was an error or what happens if there was a result. We can perform some kind of action. So if there was an error, we're going to do something here. We're going to say uh, return with an error response. So we're going to say return. Uh, res response status. I'm going to say status 400, send, and then whatever that error message is. If it did not error, we can say response dot send result, just like that. So we have our first endpoint out of the way. So now let's go ahead and create our second endpoint. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy this code to save us some typing. So we are going to make a few revisions here. Uh, the first revision is it's not going to be a get request. We're going to be creating data here, so it needs to be a post request. The second revision is instead of bucket.get, we're going to say bucket.upsert. But before that, we first need to define the data that's going to be included. So we're going to say var document equals, and then this is going to be a new JavaScript object. For parameters, we're going to say first name, and the, the first name is going to be uh, request dot body dot first name. And then likewise for the for the last name. So this is actually going to be passed in with the request body. Whatever whatever hits this endpoint is going to be passing in this information. It's not going to be part of the uh, URL parameters. So with our with our document um, created, what we're going to be inserting uh, we do need to modify this upsert just a little bit. Uh, so the first parameter is going to be the ID. So this is going to be the document ID. But the second one is actually going to be what we're going to insert. So that's going to be the document. And if there was an error, we're going to return it. Otherwise, we're going to return the success. So we are almost done with our simple Node.js application. Uh, so the next line that we want to do is we want to start up our server. So we're going to say var server equals app.listen. And we're going to listen on port 3000. It could be really whatever you want. And we're going to have a callback associated to it. So when it starts listening, we're going to hit this callback. And for our simplicity sake goes, we're just going to display uh, that we're connected. So we're going to say console.log listening on port. And then percent %s is going to be a string. So we're going to say server.address.port. And we're going to save. So at this point in time, our application is coded. This is a very simple application. It has two endpoints. Uh, what we can do now is we can start running this application. So we can say uh, node 
app.js. And remember, I'm, my, my terminal is currently in the same directory uh, as my code. So I'm going to say node app.js. Uh, and it did error because I am missing a parentheses. So I am going to add it, save it again. I'm going to try running it. Uh, this time it is listening on port 3000. The next thing we want to do is I'm going to open up another uh, terminal tab. Oops. Uh, this tab in particular is going to be uh, for, for doing our curl requests. So I'm going to say the following. So the first thing that we want to do, because there's no data in Couchbase right now, it's just empty. We're going to insert some data. So we're going to say curl h for header content type application slash json. We're also going to say hyphen x, uh, and this is going to be a post, and then hyphen d with the with the body of our request. So we're going to say uh, in in single quotes, we're going to say first name. And let's say uh, Nick. And then we're going to say last name. Let's call it Raboy. Then we're going to close the curly bracket and close our uh, parameter, our body with a single quote. And then we're going to pass it in the URL. So let's go ahead and say uh, HTTP localhost port 3000 slash person because this is going to be our endpoint. And then we're going to pass in an ID that we decide. So I'm going to say nraboy is going to be my document ID. And I'm going to hit enter. So it, it did error um, because I need to wrap my um, my document properties in quotes. So if I clear that and I hit up arrow a few times on my terminal, uh, what I want to do is I want to wrap each one of these properties in double quotes, but not the colon. And this is just a, a thing of curl on how, how it sends. So this time it sent um, and it returned a response. So this is just a compare and swap value, which to us is fine. It, it's it's not an error. Uh, so now what we want to do is we want to do a similar request that will actually uh, tell us what was saved into Couchbase. So what we can do is we can say curl HTTP localhost port 3000. And then we're going to figure out what ID we want to grab. So with, from the endpoint, it's going to be uh, person slash nraboy. I'm going to hit enter. And you can see that it returned uh, a response, of course, it returned that compare and swap value, but it also uh, returned a value being the first name and last name. Uh, so that was a, a very simple getting started very quickly with Node.js and Couchbase.